um, those enterprises can actually trust the apps that you're building. Hey, guys. Oh. Oh, hey. We're going to be live in a few seconds. Oh, okay. You guys ready? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I Let's guess. do it. Ready as will be. Okay, don't mess it up. <laughs> we're gonna be, Good luck. We're going to be live here. Okay, ready? All right. Yep. All right. Okay. Ready? Five, oh. Four. Okay. Three. Hey, folks. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Karthik Balendran, and I'm here with my friends Brian Nguyen and Emily Chen. We are excited to share with you some new tools and experiences that we've built for developers, admins, and users. But before we dive in, I'd like to spend a minute to talk about the role developers play in the future of work. Since the last time we were here together one year ago, we've seen digital transformations at a speed never before seen. Organizations adapted and turned to platforms like Microsoft Teams to keep their workforce connected and productive. And while many initially turned to Teams for chats and meetings, the new remote work model pushes us to all rethink our processes of how apps and workflows built for by developers on Teams could help us work smarter, faster, and from anywhere at any time. In fact, the daily active users of third-party line of business and power platform apps on Teams have grown over sevenfold since the start of the pandemic. And now with vaccines distributed broadly and openness to flexible work models, Developers have another opportunity to build innovative solutions on Teams to support the future of hybrid work. And so understanding the critical role that developers play in this new era of hybrid work, we've made huge strides in enhancing the dev tools and experiences that will result in simpler development, increased profitability, and better user adoption. De developers are the foundation of digital revolution. When you build your first Teams app, whether it's a brand new app you write from the ground up or you convert an existing line of business application, you will be joining a thriving community of developers who build apps for Teams. In fact, our developers doubled the number of third-party line of business and custom apps published since last year. So you can see the enthusiasm and growth of building on the platform. And with low-code development tools like Power Platform available at your fingertips, software development is more accessible than ever. Here are a handful of our awesome customers and partners who've been busy building apps for Teams. Teams was designed as a platform for anyone to build upon and innovate. With more sockets to plug into, customized and industry-specific solutions are brought into the ecosystem to add value and inspire others to do the same. We see this especially with organizations who need to quickly develop business solutions to support their needs. And that's where Teams and Power Platform provide the flexibility and speed of delivery and collaboration opportunities their users need. Here's a short video of how our customer ZF utilized Teams and Power Platform to build a solution customized to their needs. The work environment is very fast paced. We make 4,000 transmissions a day. We run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. ZF supplies systems for passenger cars, commercial vehicles, and industrial technology, enables the next generation of mobility. Teamwork and collaboration is the culture of the company, but digitalization is the future of the company. Before Teams, we were locating our files in one system, getting our reports from another system, combining them, working multiple platforms, and we're not talking each other effectively. I wanted to change the process logic, and I decided to use Power Apps and Power Automate. Power Platform is really a very strong toolbox for us. In task management, you can directly access and design something to improve your productivity. Here we have these users. They want to build these Power Apps. When they want to advance a little bit more, get a little bit more technical with the data, now Dataverse for Teams, out of the box. It's already prepared with its own security model when you're working with business data strictly confidential data, public data, internal data, you're able to basically create all of that into one relational database. In Teams, if you are using Dataverse, you can just create a table and you can create your application, share that application in a single Teams channel, and then you can start to use the application in a few days. So that's a huge difference my first application was performance review application for our hourly employees. 
our current paper-based performance review application was not working well. I didn't have to go to IT because everything was inside the team. I just opened my table, created a table, and build an application on it, then share it to my teams. It was really very easy. We have turnover tracking and corrective counseling application for our HR use. My HR colleagues gained around 50% of operational time and 100% data accuracy in our reporting systems. Everything inside of Teams with Power Apps, Power Automate, everything right there, it makes things simple. It's all about placement of an app. You have to build that experience where they're excited to get in there and like, man, I just saved a lot of time and frustration. Thank you. And that's what puts a smile on my face. But we're trying to bring Power Platform and Teams on a global scale across ZF. Everybody knows it works and it helps to ease people's lives. As you just saw, using the Power Platform to build Teams apps is one of the easiest and most productive ways to build enterprise line of business applications. But we understand that enterprises are going to run into complex problems that require custom solutions built by professional full-stack developers. The good news is if you are a React developer, SharePoint developer, or a .NET developer, you are already a Teams developer. Building apps for Teams is not only easy, but apps are better in Teams because you can leverage the rich data of Microsoft Graph. We're happy to announce two product upgrades designed to ease the lives of our professional developer community. First, the Microsoft Toolkit 2.0 is out right now and brings features such as single-line authentication and streamlined hosting to your IDE. Second is the developer portal for Microsoft Teams. The developer portal is the app management portal for Teams developers. If you're already familiar with Teams development, this is the new and improved version of App Studio. Let's jump in and show how easy it is to build your first app using these tools. I will begin by launching Visual Studio Code and navigating to the Microsoft Teams Toolkit extension. You can download the toolkit from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace website or in the embedded experience directly in VS Code. Let's create a new project and select the capabilities that our app will leverage. We can build an app that utilizes any combination of tabs, bots, messaging extensions, or an in-meeting app. As a best practice, Try to keep your app focused on solving one problem and extend it from there. We're going to build a tab-based app. Next, we must select where the front-end service for my app will eventually reside. I have a web development background, so I will choose Azure. We now choose whether additional backend cloud resources should be included in this project. My app needs serverless functions, so I will select that option. Next, we select the programming language for this project. The toolkit generates project scaffolds in their JavaScript or TypeScript with c -sharp support on the horizon. After selecting the directory where my project will be saved, my app is scaffolded using my language of choice. As you can see, this application looks like a React application because it is a React application. I will now run the launch script to build and run the app, then sideload it to Teams. As we wait for the package to build, let's take a look at our code once again. Those of you who have built apps that utilize single sign-on authentication and data from Microsoft Graph understand how time-consuming it can be to integrate those scenarios into your applications. These lines show how the Teams Framework SDK reduces retrieving the user's profile information to a few lines of code. That's because Toolkit 2.0 ships with the new Teams Framework SDK. They work in harmony to build full stack web apps for teams with support for identity, data storage, serverless functions, and hosting built right in. All of this sets me up for success out of the box with lots of goodness with the default scaffold experience in the extension. Now that the app is done installing, the team's web client is launched and we're taken to the app installation dialog for our app. This is our personal app. It is pulling my username directly from the Teams Framework SDK. I will authorize the app to give it read access to my graph data. Once I provide consent, my profile photo loads in the app. The app has been designed to look Teams native by default with fluent controls and theming. 
Now let's switch back to the Teams Toolkit in Visual Studio Code. When my backend resources are ready to deploy to the cloud, I can deploy them with one click directly from VS Code, or I can use the Teams Framework CLI to deploy as part of a CI-CD pipeline. Writing your app source code is step one of building a Teams app. The next step is to create the app package, which needs a manifest file. You can edit the manifest directly from the toolkit, or you can use the new developer portal for Microsoft Teams. Let's open that up now. Apps created in the toolkit will automatically be registered with the developer portal for your account. Here's the app we just created. The overview page doesn't look like much now, but here's an example of what it will look like once it's published and people start using it for some time. We've added charts to track your app's usage. The charts show both monthly and daily active usage for seven day, 30 day, and 60 day intervals. I'm going to switch back to the app we've been building and update its name and icon. Let's call this Employee Pulse, save it. Next, we will go to branding and update the icons. First, the color icon, and next, the outline icon. Much better. Now I will share this app registration with another developer in my organization. This enables both of us to do things like update or publish new versions of the app without having to pass the app's manifest path back and forth. To make sure that we aren't overriding each other's app configuration properties, I will use the environment configuration feature to create a new environment configuration. Let's call this Carthig's DevEnv. Then I will create a variable to hold my content URL value. This is helpful if you and your colleagues are using a tunneling service like Ngrok and each of you have different endpoints. Now we can go to the configuration page and enter the variable name instead of the actual value itself. When you publish or sideload the app, Team will use the chosen configuration to determine the value of the variable. I will now publish this app to my organization's app catalog. The app will automatically appear in the Team's IT Admin Center for review. Once my IT Admin has approved the application, it is ready to use for users in my organization from the Team's store. I can also publish applications to the public Team's App Store to make them available for all Teams users in any tenant. This page helps ensure my app's configuration settings will pass the validation checks all apps go through before they can be published. We recently released some exciting capabilities to help you monetize your Teams apps. The first step is to visit Microsoft Partner Center and create a SaaS offer for your app. Then you can update your app's configuration in the developer portal to link it to the newly created subscription. This will enable the new in-Teams purchase experience for your users. We will go over this in more depth shortly. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Building apps for Microsoft Teams is the easiest and most productive way to build enterprise line of business apps. If you're a web developer, you are already a Teams developer. You can download the Teams Toolkit extension from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace or at aka.ms slash Teams Toolkit. And the developer portal can be accessed by visiting aka.ms slash devportal. OK, now that we've built an app, what's next? We need to ensure that those apps are safe and compliant before releasing them to the store for our end users. And Brian will speak to you about that now. Take it away, Brian. Thanks, Karthig. Hello, I'm Brian Nguyen, Senior Program Manager for Microsoft Teams, supporting the IT Pro experience for Teams apps. Let's talk through new features that empower admins to drive adoption of your apps while staying secure and compliant. If you're a developer, naturally you want people to use your apps. In an organization, the IT department plays an important role in making this happen. They want to empower the people in their organizations with the most useful, high quality, most trustworthy apps possible. So we want to focus on some key developments in teams that will help them do just that. I'll touch on improvements to reviewing apps, customizing apps for each tenant, enabling search and compliance, and deployment. As Karthik mentioned earlier, when you submit line of business apps to your tenant catalog, your admins can now receive a notification through a dedicated team and channel through an opt-in control. When clicking on View Details, your admin will be able to review and approve your app. This streamlines line of business app submission process between you and your admin. 
Let's look deeper into the review process moving to third-party apps. The M365 App Compliance Program allows you to certify your apps based on industry best practices, receiving a badge of recognition. If you become M365 certified, like Priority Matrix here, you'll unlock a new tab which shares your certification information like gap compliance and data retention policies, allowing your hard work in building secure apps to be discovered. It's as if Microsoft has become your security assessor, allowing admins to be more confident in adopting your apps across their organization. Now let's hear directly from Priority Matrix on the benefits of M365 certification. My name is Hai Nguyen, co-founder and CEO of Affluence. We make Priority Matrix, a Microsoft 365 security certified project management software for Microsoft Teams and Outlook to help you manage projects, meetings, and emails. The Microsoft 365 security certification signals that Priority Matrix is a high quality, secure application that tries to take good care of our customers' data. Recently, a director of IT customer was able to review our certification and quickly approve the app for deployments, effectively cutting weeks out of our due diligence process. Even when additional evidence is required by our prospective clients, having gone through certification gives us more confidence to meet our customers' needs. Overall, the Microsoft 365 certification process makes Party Matrix a more compelling solution to customers of all sizes. Party Matrix clearly sees value from being a trusted app. You can also allow admins to configure your app to meet their needs through the Settings tab. Take Career Coach here as an example, which is an app supporting career development. They've enabled the admin to upload a CSV file with learning courses specific to their organization. As a result, Career Coach will display courses for Willow University, who is providing the learning content for the admin's organization. You can also allow admins to rebrand your app to match their company look and feel, helping your app become a tailored fit with your customer. For example, ServiceNow's Now Virtual Agent app has opted in to allow admins to customize the app name, description, icons, and more. End users will see an app named Support Global Help Desk with its own app icon, associating the rebranded app as one of their organization's own. As a result, they'll be more inclined to use your app. You'll see how this looks in the next session covered, covering the end user experience by my friend Emily. Now let's move on to the power of the M365 Cloud. With a single click of a button, Admins can enable your app into enterprise search, compliance, intelligent discovery via graph, as seen here with Loom apps. These powerful new capabilities make it much more enticing for admins to adopt and use your apps. End users can search through Loom apps app data, like how you can search for Teams chats and SharePoint files today. This means users can more easily find your content and re-engage with your app. We're bringing users back to your apps. The app also benefits from security and compliance technologies in M365. In this example, eDiscovery in, in, in the Security and Compliance Admin Center will now include data from Loom Apps. Many organizations need compliance features like eDiscovery to be available everywhere their users are communicating and creating content. It's a baseline requirement for some users, and no eDiscovery means no adoption. So instead of figuring out how to integrate with complex co compliance solutions, let M365 take care of that for you. All you have to do is write a graph connector. Now let's hear how Lionel Moiseau, Product and Documentation Manager for Loom Apps, describes the value of the search and compliance connector. Loom Apps is a central repository for company knowledge. By creating an immersive experience inside Microsoft 365, we are able to provide a way to reach every employee in their everyday journey. With the Graph Connector framework, we can surface strategic information from your maps into the Microsoft Search and Recommendation experience, while ensuring compliance with the highest security standards. What you've heard is great, because users can experience seamless interactions between Microsoft and ISVs as if there were no boundaries between them. Next, let's review new features for admins to deploy your apps to users. We are making it more efficient for admins to deploy your SaaS offers, shown here with Priority Matrix. Admins can select plans and purchase licenses from the Teams Admin Center directly. We're also excited to announce that we're enabling admins to purchase through invoice billing. This is the preferred enterprise payment method and unlocks the purchases of your apps at scale. We're continuing to expand purchase options for admins, 
giving developers greater opportunities to monetize your apps. Lastly, M365 is becoming an integrated application platform for all the Microsoft variants you have. Let me show you this experience by first going to Integrated Apps in the M365 Admin Center. In this example, I can find Adobe Acrobat as a web, Teams, Excel, and PowerPoint app. Admins can configure user access and complete tasks like granting AAD admin consent across these platforms. Finally, admins can deploy Adobe Acrobat to the various M365 surfaces from a single place. After an app has been deployed, admins can further manage it across various Microsoft surfaces together as a suite without jumping between admin centers. I think this is a convenience you really want to provide for your admins. To recap, we discussed the various ways we are enabling IT admins to trust, manage, and adopt your apps on Teams. We discussed features related to reviewing apps, customizing them, enabling search and compliance, and deployment. Let's talk where to go from here. You can look up the Microsoft 365 App Compliance Program to build an M365 certified app, preview app configuration by onboarding through our link here, enable app customization by starting with the various docs pages linked here, learn more about enabling search and compliance by attending the build session, BRK243, on building apps for M365 through graph and adaptive cards. Finally, you can enable integrated apps by linking your apps together in Partner Center for unified deployment and management. The rest of the features we discussed will be coming soon. Now over to Emily, who will show us how we're enabling Teams users to seamlessly discover and use your apps. Thank you, Brian. Hi, everyone. It is truly an honor to be here with you today at Build. Brian just showed us how we are putting trust and security at the front and center of Teams so that your apps can be easily enabled in organizations and available for users. But we didn't stop here. We are constantly innovating on how to build a world-class experience to highlight your apps and get them in the hands of the right users. You've spent the time building an amazing app. So now it's our turn to show you the amazing experience we built that will allow the 145 million daily active users to easily discover your app, seamlessly acquire it, and make it an essential part of their work. We are so excited to show you our brand new store. For most of our users, this is where they first discover your app. So we have redesigned every little detail to make it much faster, cleaner, and easier to use. We want to allow users to quickly discover and use apps, but we also recognize that every user has slightly different needs. So we are also making store much more intelligent and targeted. The new homepage here has groups of apps that have been handpicked, as well as apps recommended for users based on the usage. The left navigation pane of the store is cleaner with easy to understand categories, making it a breeze to explore. These categories directly map to the ones available in Partner Center, so you have full control on where your apps will show up. The banner at the top here is also a great place to highlight apps. We now can put specific, we now can put spotlight on specific apps to our user in different segments, like the education segment shown here. The store will also continue to evolve and become more relevant to each customer based on their and their colleagues' app usage. We also want to empower organizations to express them, to express themselves and give their users a customized experience. Our users can discover all the tools you need to each organization by clicking on Build for your org. We also introduced a way for organizations to configure their tenant catalog with the logos and their colors, making the store truly theirs. Organizations can also customize individual apps, like what Brian showed earlier. You can see ServiceNow is available as Support Global Help Desk. Users can easily start using this app by selecting and clicking Add. We love the apps that you build for Teams. And with this new store, 
We are making sure more end users get the first-hand experience with your apps so they will love them too. This amazing store is coming to you in the summer of 2021, so stay tuned. We have always believed that by giving people incredible tools, we can empower them to do incredible things. So we want to make sure that users can find and start using these incredible tools anywhere throughout Teams without interrupting their workflow. We have a few ways where users can discover the apps they need, whether it is in channels, in the chat, in the meetings, or even in the app bar. And if users don't yet know what apps to use, we will suggest the best ones for them. From here, a simple click will add the app and open for you right away. Combined with the power of single sign-on, we're further reducing the friction of setting up, taking users directly to your app experiences. Our users around the world are increasingly relying on mobile devices to get their work done. So I'm happy to, to announce they can also discover your apps and add it. These experiences have been specifically crafted for the ease of use on a mobile device. For example, users can add the apps on Teams directly from a link or the QR code and share that are shared with them. We have worked hard to ensure users can discover your apps anywhere through any devices. And we also want to make sure there is absolutely nothing in the way when it comes to acquiring your apps. So we are so excited to announce that Teams user can now purchase your SaaS subscription directly in Teams. Let's see how that works. Here you can see the Priority Matrix app that Brian previously talked about. It's now available for purchase in the Teams store. You can also see we have a badge for all the M365 certified apps. User can either either buy a subscription or go with a trial version. The sub subscription and the trials are defined in the corresponding SaaS offer, which you can create in the Partner Center. Next, user can select the quantity of the license, add their payment, and simply purchase with one click. Once the purchase is completed, users will be redirected to Priority Matrix portal to further config the SaaS service and assign the license to additional users. We have many amazing partners that have already enabled this end-to-end -end purchase experience in Teams, including Law Toolbox, Picket, Scrum Genius, and many, many others. And the best part is you can also try this in this coming summer. So there you have it. We just showed you an amazing new store that allow user to easily discover apps and help you drive up adoption. We, has, we have also discussed how user can discover the new apps anywhere throughout Teams in any devices, making them more productive and helping you to retain the users. The purchase experience is also beautifully integrated with the new store to allow user acquire license all within Teams and help you generate revenue. We are always pushing the boundary on how to empower more users. With the easy to use developer tools, the powerful admin controls, and user-centric storefront, we want to make everyone's experience on Teams more personal and enjoyable. We hope you are excited about these new features as much as we do. As I wrap up our time with you today, I want to give a huge thank you to our developer communities. You, the developers, are the ones who have been changing the way, the way we work and empowering people to do more every single day. So thank you. Thank you for building these wonderful tools and choosing Teams as a platform to amplify their potentials. I cannot wait to see what you have to build this year. We invite you to check out the other team session that we have planned at Build. And also, don't forget to sign up for the M365 Developer Program. Thank you, and happy coding.